apologize for the the break. Um, I'm having some difficulty with my pen, so everything's going to have to be done um, through typing, so do bear with me. All right, so it said that a ship is sailing due north, okay? So we have a ship that is sailing due north, okay, vertical. The captain sees a lighthouse 10 kilometers away on a bearing of 32 degrees. So that means that there's a lighthouse somewhere out there in the ocean, and he sees it at a 32 degree bearing. Okay, remember, that is a true bearing, so that basically means that from the north direction heading in a clockwise fashion, um, that's how you get your bearings. That's where he sees the um, lighthouse at 32 degrees. Later, that means later along his travels, the captain observes that, observes that the bearing of the lighthouse is 132 degrees. That means at some other point in time on his travels, he sees the lighthouse again, but this time it's at 132 degree um, bearing. So that 132 is actually going to be located right here. All right. Now it's asking you how far does the ship travel um, between these two observations. So basically you're trying to find this distance right here. And we know that the captain sees the lighthouse 10 kilometers away on a bearing of 32 degrees. So 10 would be right here. So we're looking for the value of x. Now one thing we do need to know is that since uh, the ship was traveling in a straight line, and we know that one angle is 132 degrees, then we know, because of supplementary angles, that this angle here has to be 48. 48. Okay? Now we have the situation of angle, angle, um, side, two angles and a not included side to set up sine rule. Okay, so we'll have the sine of 48 over 10 equals the sine of this angle here over x. Now the one thing is is that, hey, we know that this angle is going to basically add to 32 and 48 to get 180. So we'll take our calculator, we'll subtract 48 and 32 from 180, and that angle is indeed 100. So, so now, to solve this, we just go ahead and cross multiply, and we'll get x sine 48 equals 10 sine 100. And then to solve for x, we're going to divide both sides by sine of 48. So our answer is 10 sine 100 over the sine of 48. We want to make sure again that we're in degree mode. And so when we type it in, we get 13.3 kilometers. Now, uh, the last little bit of with that involves sine rule is that there can be an ambiguous case when you use the, the sine rule. This happens when you're given two sides and a not included acute angle or the side opposite the given acute angle is shorter than the two sides. Okay, that's when you're dealing with um, the ambiguous case. And <coughs> the ambiguous case basically means that you can have no triangles, and this happens when one of your sides is less than um, the other side that you're given times the sine of angle A. You can have one triangle, that's when the, the length of A, or, or one side, equals the other side times the sine of A. Or you can have two triangles when um, one side times the sine of the other angle is less than, the respective side, less than side. Hopefully you can see that this table is kind of hard to explain, but basically you're going to have either no triangles, one triangle, or two triangles. And you basically always have to check um, for the amigos case when you're given two sides and a not included angle. Because sometimes it may look, hey, it might just be one triangle, but in actuality, it might be uh, more than one. So, we're going to look at this example. It says in the triangle ABC, A is 40 degrees, A is 14, and C is 20. So, I'm also going to do a quick sketch of this triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just doing it for the sake of, um, you know, the visual here. So, we have angle A. I guess B really doesn't matter. I know A is 40 degrees. 
side A is 14 and side C is 20. And as you can see, this is a situation of side side angle. And so even when you see something like this, you might want to check for ambiguous case. Okay. So um, basically, we're going to solve this triangle, giving all possible cases, give answers correct to one decimal place. And so but you, clearly, you're going to see that, hey, angle C is going to be the easiest to solve for. So we're going to set it up sine of 14 equals sine of angle C over 20. Now, do remember that when you are looking for an angle, you are going to have to do the inverse. OK, so to solve this, we're going to cross multiply. And we're going to have 20 sine 40 equals 14 sine of angle C. We're going to divide both sides by 14. So I have this here. Okay, let me add in some, some lines here to make this a little, a little easier to see visually. Remember, I am working with just my keyboard, so please forgive my slowness. And then lastly, we're going to do sine inverse of that entire thing, so 20 sine 40 um, all over 14. And that's going to equal the value of C. And as we round to one decimal place, now do please, 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 please put 20 sine 40 divided by 14 all in the parentheses, um, because that's what you're taking the sine inverse of. All right, and then you should get that C is about and unfortunately, I can't do the about symbol without going in and, you know, going into the symbols. And that's just going to be too much. 66.7. Because we are rounding to one decimal place. Now, this is the thing. Once you find that angle, this is where you want to check for the ambiguous case. So what you do is you take 180 and subtract it from the answer that you just got. Okay? And so when we do 180 minus 66.7, we're going to have a potential second angle C. We'll label it C subscript 2. Okay? So this means that there is a potential that angle C could be 113 degrees. All right? So we have another triangle labeled ABC. Where A is still 40, side A is still 14, and side uh, C is still 20, but this time angle C is 113.3 degrees. Now in the other triangle, angle C is 66.7. So there's a potential for two triangles. The only way that you're actually going to know if you have a second triangle is that when you add 113 to 140, if that sum is less than 180, then you have a then you have a second triangle. Okay, so I'll say it again. To check for ambiguous case, you always do it after you find the first angle. You subtract the angle you found from 180 to get a potential second angle C. Sometimes it won't be C, it just depends on what you're looking for. That is the angle for a second triangle. Same stipulations, 40, 20, and 15, but this time you have 113.3 degrees as angle C. So we're going to add 113.3 and 40, and what we end up getting is 153.3, which is less than 180, which means that our angle B in our second triangle is actually going to be 26.7. Okay? So there is actually a second triangle here. We're going to have two, two triangles. Okay? where angle B is 26.7, angle C is 113.3, and angle A is 40. For our other triangle back here, we'll still solve it the normal way. We'll do 180 minus 66.7 minus 40 to get the other angle B, which is going to be 73.3. Can this happen? Does this happen? Yes. And so you want to make sure that when you have the situation of side-side angle, you always check for ambiguous case. So then when it comes down to solving for the rest of the triangle, finding side B, you're going to have two side Bs, okay? You're going to have side B for this triangle, triangle one, and then you're going to have um, side B for triangle two, all right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find side B for the purple triangle, side B for the pink triangle. So we'll set it up. Uh, for the first triangle, it's going to be sine 40 over 14 equals 
the sine of 73.3 or actually you know of course of course you know I'm, I'm using the full decimal here so no no rounded answers here you know we just want to make sure that um all right cross multiply divide Side B in this triangle, triangle one is going to be. <coughs> oh man, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm still trying to I'm still battling this cold I got here. So you should have got twenty point nine. And of course, don't forget your units. I don't think I, well, the rest of our degrees. Okay, so over here we got 20.9. And then for um, the pink triangle, side B, we still set it up in similar fashion. If you guys wanna, hopefully you guys are already gone ahead. Some of y'all might have paused the video and um, figured this, uh, this one out already. And then the last answer for this side B is going to be um, 9.8. Okay, so hopefully um, for those who've never um, done dealt with sine rule or anything like that, hopefully this wasn't too confusing. Um, you do have your homework in which you will um, in which you go ahead and complete, and um, just um, make sure you bring your questions uh, to class um, next time we see each other.